my name is Annika and I'm going to review my Maddle paddle board. I bought it last summer so I used it for a whole season and at first I kind of thought it was a scam. The website was just very generic to other websites that I've seen that are not the best and there was just no reviews online from real people. I saw videos on TikTok of influencers using the Maddle paddle board but they were just using it. There was no opinions of if the board was actually good or a scam. So basically, I ordered it um, last summer around June and I received it pretty quickly actually. I'm in Canada so they ship from the East Coast. So I received it within like two or three days. The first thing I noticed of the paddle board when I was opening the box was the smell. It did have that smell, you know the one. Um, but I didn't want to form my opinion until I actually used the board on the water. So. I think later that day I went down to the lake and filled it up. The pump that comes with the paddle board is actually really good. My husband's paddle board is Gilly Sports Brand and the pump that he has is just like way more complicated and I thought would be better but the pump that comes with the paddle is amazing. It's just better than his so that's a pro on this paddle board. Another thing is that it's just like aesthetically pleasing. Like this board is beautiful and that's the reason why I wanted it. There was another one locally that I could have bought that was just like black and white and very minimalist but I kind of wanted something fun and exciting for the summer that every time I looked at it I would smile and basically the paddle board is that like it just looks like summer in a board. When it comes down to the actual like make and specs of the board it's perfect for your like average person um, like I'm mid-twenties and I'm 5'6", and this paddle board fit me perfectly because it is a 10'6". Um, if you are maybe way taller um, and older maybe, you would want probably a bigger board like an 11 or 11'6", and the metal paddle boards only come in 10'6", which is probably why they're so cheap and affordable. If that really matters to you, like the size, um, just like look into your specs and see what kind of board would fit you because my husband is taller than me and he ended up getting an 11 6 board which fits him so much better and there's different reasons why he got that board but the metal board it's basic it's regular and yeah if you are kind of just average and you're just going to use it every day like not for big extreme events I would recommend the metal paddle board or at least like the 10 6 size All right, here is my paddle board setup. This is everything that came with my paddle board. So here's the paddle board. I have the oar, which is detachable, the pump, um, three fins, the bag, and the ankle strap. So normally I would use the pump, but I got a free pump with my husband's paddle board, and it's just way easier for me. So we use the electric pump on mine, and then he uses his pump on his, but I actually really like the metal pump. Out of all the paddle boards we've tried, the metal pump has definitely been the best. The bag that the paddle board comes in is okay. I don't actually love the bag. Um, the only things I like about it are what it looks like. It's it's cute, it's aesthetic, it's beige, it has hints of blue that match my paddle board. Um, the straps are decent, they're thick, which is nice. Um, but the bag is not comfortable to wear um, for like long periods of time. So if you're going to go hiking, I would not use this bag. I would probably buy a different paddleboard bag that has more padding, maybe like a waist strap that would be more comfortable because the bag sits, um, you can pull it high, but it's just so long that it goes way past um, your hips and like almost to your knees. So depending on your height, maybe recommend a different bag if you are going to go hiking but I feel like for what it is like going in and out of my truck the bag is fine it does get dirty um which I am kind of sad about because it is like beige and you don't get to pick the bag color just whatever paddleboard you order comes with that bag so keep that in mind but I mean you're going to be using this every day so it's going to get dirty and that's going to be okay. The plastic of the paddle board um, is actually really nice. The little details of the board that I noticed right away was um, just like on the main mat area. I'll put a photo of what I'm talking about. Um, there, it's like foam, foamy, I don't even know. 
Um, but it says Madel all along it, and it's just really cute and a small detail that I feel like is really insignificant, but I noticed it and I was like, oh, that's really cute and amazing. I love that. <laughs> there are a few accessories on the website that you can order with your board. Um, there is an automatic pump, which I would recommend. I didn't get that pump, um, but my husband's board came with one and the electric pump is so, so nice to have in the summer, especially if you're pumping when it's super hot outside. Um, you can just like plug it into your vehicle and pump your board to like the correct PSI you need it to be, um, which is nice because when you get to like really close to filling it full, <laughs> it gets really hard. So an electric pump, I definitely would recommend. Um, I didn't try the model one, so I can't give my opinion, but the one I did try was really nice. And based on my research, all the paddleboard electric pumps look identical. They just have different branding on them. So I'm sure whichever one you end up getting will be fine. I did buy the Maddle dry bag, which I didn't expect to be so big. Um, you can see it in this photo that I put on the screen. It is big. I think it's a 25 liter, maybe it's a 30 liter. I don't know. In my opinion, whatever it is, it is too big. Um, it's quite heavy depending on what you're putting in there. Like I would always put my water bottle, my snacks, my drinks, um, my phone, my wallet, keys, all that stuff in my dry bag and it ended up getting really heavy and it was kind of hard to like get in and out of the water and in this um, photo that I'll put on the screen you can see it's at the front of my board um, in the straps and it actually does add a lot of weight so it is just like so heavy and kind of a weird size so the bag is nice. I don't know if I'd recommend it because it is so big like you could just go down to your local athletic store and buy a way smaller bag. Like, you also don't need that much. I mean, basically, when I'm on the water, I just see my water bottle, my phone, snacks, depending on how long I plan on being out there. So, I guess it's up to your discretion, but I don't know if I would recommend the metal bag. I just, I bought it because of the branding and it looked the same. I didn't expect it to be as big as it was. So, that was not great. Um, I don't know if the sale that Maddle always puts on, I think it's like $200 off your paddleboard, um, comes with all the same features, but when I ordered my board last year, it came with a cleaning kit for free and a waterproof phone pouch. And that was actually really nice. Um, it's like Maddle branding, it's white. It fit my iPhone 11, which is small now compared to the new phones, but I would actually recommend the phone pouch I know phones are waterproof now, but just like knowing that if you had like a big wave splash over your board and your phone was there, like you wouldn't just lose your phone because <laughs> it would be in the pouch attached to your board. So I would definitely recommend that. I did like that. They have tons on Amazon. I mean, you can use a Ziploc. That's what I did for a while too. So it's really up to your preference of like what you want to have on your board. So with all that to say, I definitely would recommend the Maddle paddle board. It is not a scam, even though it might seem like one. Um, there's just not a lot of reviews out there and the reviews that they have on the website, sometimes I don't believe that those are genuine. Um, so I always go to like Instagram or TikTok for people reviewing the board, um, but I did find a hard time finding that. So I definitely would recommend the Maddle paddle board if you're just looking for like a basic board that is cute and fun and just not from Canadian Tire or something. Um, the metal paddle board is really, really nice. So I did get the yellow board. It looks retro, it looks cute. Every time I look at it, I smile. So I definitely wanted to invest in something that I was really ecstatic about. I mean, all paddle boards are nice. They're just on the water, so you can't really see too many details. If you are like an outdoorsy person and you're looking for more adventure, like my husband, he got paddle board that's more geared to fishing and like adventures so he has lots of different features on his board for um like a cooler a fishing rod cup holder um gopro mount like all those mounts are just there's more on different boards so if you're looking for that i would not recommend the metal paddle board i kind of just feel like the metal board is really basic and there are some mounts for gopro and stuff but there i think there's only one and it's like at the front of the board. So I hope this review was helpful. I kind of touched on a little bit of everything about the board and just basically confirming that it is not a scam and that the board is great. And I don't know too much about the company, but I definitely would recommend getting a metal paddle board for the summer. It is seriously the best thing you can do. There's gonna be no regrets. And I feel like last year and even the year before they were getting really popular. And when I would go to the lake, everyone would have a paddle board and the rentals are huge. So. In my opinion, if you live close to water and you want to 
get out that way and just spend more time on the lake, definitely recommend a metal paddle board. They are so nice. And I mean, in my area that I live in, I didn't see a single one. So I don't know if people just, yeah, like aren't trusting the company, but basically <laughs> I'm here to say that it is okay. You should order from them. I mean, only order when there's a sale. I definitely wouldn't pay full price um, for these boards because that's a lot of money, but was my review of the metal stand up paddle board. I am glad I was able to use it for a whole season before I could give my full review and opinion. It is January now, so I'm not using it yet, but I know that this upcoming summer I will be using it every day, which I'm really excited about. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.